All right, so we're in Rancho Cucamonga at Empire Lakes, and I'm here with the golf bro, Michael. Michael, thanks for having us out here today. Hey, good to see you, Joel. <laughs> you bet. Well, tell us a little bit about Empire Lakes. Well, you know, it was uh, built in 19, or finished in 1996, so it's been here for a number of years. It's matured, and, uh, you know, it's an Arnold Palmer golf course, the championship Arnold Palmer golf course here in the Inland Empire. No kidding. Yeah, so. This is the only one, right? That's, that's as far as I know. <laughs> so you got to come play it. It's a link style course, uh, just lots of fun, wide fairways, nice contouring. Uh, very enjoyable for every t every type of golfer. Now, for those non-golfers out there, when you say link style course, describe what that means. Well, it's not uh, not very tree lined. It's sort of rolling uh, terrain with some uh, pot bunkering, a lot of bunkering around the greens, and uh, you know, very fair but uh, very uh, challenging greens. They are fair and they are very challenging greens. <laughs> I say I'm not the greatest golfer in the world, but this could be a challenging course from time to time. Absolutely. Well, I mean, that's why they had the nationwide tour here for like six years. People who live in the Inland Empire know about this golf course. It's not a secret, but for the non-golfers, you actually have a, a school that people can come out and learn from, right? Absolutely, yeah, I'm the director of instruction of the School of Golf in Empire Lakes, and uh, we give lessons to all, all type of golfers, from beginners to you know advanced players, uh, a lot of children, so uh, we have a real, real good program. You can take a look at it on our website, EmpireLakes.com. Take a look at that. Oh, very cool. Now, what is some of the, um, that like, like, let's take around the golf course. Just take me like a quick tour. What is the biggest challenge that this golf course faces? Well, I think for the average golfer, where we're standing right now on number three, backed by number two behind <laughs> us, you know, water tends to make, make everybody sort of freeze up and uh, brings out sometimes not their best shot. So here is, this is what we call one of the amen corners. And then on the back nine as well, number 10, 11, and 12, another amen corner, sort of quoting the, the master's amen yeah. corner, but uh, t you know, two tough little areas to get through. But uh, again, fair golf course, a lot of fun. Uh, you'll really enjoy it. Now it's windy today, and uh, we still still see golfers out on the course today. Oh yeah. Well, this is this is abnormal. This is the Santa Ana's, and so it's blowing the opposite direction of normal. Normally, it's coming in the exact opposite direction. Now, um, in terms of driving range, uh, do you have two driving range, one driving range? We have one driving range, but it's uh, very very well designed. We have a it's a double ended. So there's a private area where you can you can take a uh, you know, take out a uh, membership for a month or for a day, like a day pass, or even a year, and uh, it shoots back into the mountains so you can see the ball a little bit better. So it's, and again, the conditions there are a little bit better. And then on the public side, which is the north side, um, you can go practice there as well. So you, both places have real good grass, both have a short game area with a bunker. What is the signature hole here at Empire Lakes? Well, I think probably you'd want to take a look at number seven, which okay. during the nationwide tournament played is number nine. But number seven is a long par three over water, um, you know. Everybody's scared with water, and it's off to the right where most people tend to slice it. So it's uh, it's oh, and it's no. it's fairly lengthy. So you know, white tee is about 175, 180 yards, and then the blue tee is like 210. Now we're probably getting really technical on some of you out there that aren't golfers out yeah. there. So let, let, let's break it down a little bit. So white tees, blue tees. Do you have black tees here? Or? We do. We have uh, you know the white tee settings, also gold. So that's sort of a mix of the whites and the blues, which is championship. Mm -hmm. And then the blacks are really the tournament tees. Now, Michael, what makes Empire Lakes, you know, besides being an R. Palmer, besides being here in Ranch Cucamonga, what makes it so unique? Well, I think you've got uh, the beautiful views. You've mm -hmm. got the gorgeous mountains behind us. Yeah. Uh, you've got a real, uh, uh, it's, it's almost like you're in Palm Springs. You've got a lot of palm trees and, uh, you know, just all the beautiful lakes as well. I mean, it's just... Uh, a lot of a lot of wildlife. We saw wildlife earlier. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, we have a lot, of, you know, a lot of bird life that comes in here. So it's just uh, again, just a, a great spot. Uh, good weather. All right, so Michael, we're looking at uh, what about 100 and well, it's really about 150 yards, but it's playing downwind and downhill. So with all this wind, if we can get it airborne, it's uh, it's going to play like 140. The key here for this shot for you, yeah, is you got to hit the ball mm -hmm. first. Okay, and then the ground. Okay, so gotcha. in, in that order. Not the big green ball before the little white ball. We want the little white ball, then the big green. And the reason for it, because that's the way the club is designed. That's the way the iron club is designed. Okay. You want to hit it first, and hit the ball first, and then the ground. Okay? Then the ground, huh? Now, do you recommend me tee, uh, I tee it up really high or really low? Just a little bit, about a half an inch. A little, half inch, yeah. okay. Yeah, but that's, that's where most players get into trouble with irons. They try to scoop underneath it and lift it in the air. But the iron is designed to 
for you to really swing down and hit it on a descending blow and trap the ball between the club face and the ground, and then the ball will slide up the face and shoot off and create the right trajectory. So if you, if you keep that in mind, yeah. you should have some success. Try to stay balanced, don't overswing. Stay balanced, don't overswing. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. That was a great shot, by the way. Great shot, right on the green. And do you see the divot I made? I did. That was after the ball. After the ball. The ball was first and then the ground. Now you're gonna, you're gonna fix that though, right? Yeah, I got a little deal of sand over here. I'll fill that in. Look at that, just like I planned it. See, I'm not in the bunker. Yeah. I'm right here. I'm pin high. Pin high, so you, I had, you struck that very well. I struck it very well. And you've got a good lie, so you really don't have a whole lot to negotiate here. All you gotta do is just landed about five to 10 feet on the green. and You're making it sound so simple, by the way. Yeah, so what <laughs> club do you got? I have a sand wedge with me. I probably should have a pitching, pitching wedge. What uh, would you, you recommend? Know, I, you're okay. If you just put it back in your stance, maybe just a little behind center and just keep uh -huh. your hands forward, you'll probably hit it. And it, it is a little downhill here, so you probably don't want to hit it too firm because you don't want to go over the, water, over the green into the water. Yeah. So just pick out a spot about, you know, eight, 10 feet onto the green and try to land it there. Okay. Okay. Hold that. Let's, let's see your let's see your practice swing here and see how it goes. All right. So back of stance. What you're saying? Huh? Yeah, a little more close to your right foot. There you go. Choking down on it, looking good. Nice little brush stroke. I like it. All right. Let's see how we do here. That is really good right there. Look at this. It's going to feed right down by the hole. Wow. And we got wow. that on film. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna drop down towards the water, and so. That's what most people think. Uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> don't tell me well, that. Well, you know, watching the tour players play here for six years, they all seem to think it was gonna go towards the water, and it, and it probably won't. That actually, it's, we're probably a little lower here than that little edge over by the green, so it's actually gonna go straight or maybe break a little bit to your left. So I would say either dead straight with a little speed or a little slower in the right center. Slower in the right center? Yep. Now, would you agree that this is probably, this distance, what, uh, six to eight feet out, probably the most challenging putts that people have? This is where a lot of people lose a lot of strokes. Yeah. So, Because it know, looks easy. This is where you need to practice. Yeah. All right, we'll see how we do here. All right. Oh. What did I tell you? Oh. <laughs> What's the web address out here? EmpireLakes.com. And if people want to make tea times, you have a telephone number? We do. Uh, it's 909-481-6663. Did you see how he gave me that tip? He was standing this side of me and he told me to go straight and look at that. I put it right in the cup. It's my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate you having us out here. Again, another fantastic place, beautiful golf course out here in the Inland Empire and Rancho Cucamonga, only here in the IE at Empire Lakes Golf Course. All right, let's go hit.